Hey third grade parents, this is Miss Petty here. I just wanted to let you all know about some of the active reading strategies that we're doing in class so that you can continue to practice them at home. During conferences, you um, should have gotten or you will get a an active reader bookmark. And these are all the strategies that we've been practicing so that um, your students should be able to explain what each bullet point means and they should be able to tell you what that means when they are doing it. Um, so first of all, it says, I use the title to activate my background knowledge. The first thing they need to do, look at the title to figure out what the topic of the book is and go ahead and start thinking about what they already know about that topic. The next check says, I chunked the text. And what we're working on now is not just to read an entire passage or book and get to the end and then start thinking, but to break the chunk, the text up into smaller chunks. Maybe do one or two pages at a time, maybe do a two or three paragraphs at a time, depending on what kind of book you're reading. Next, ch next check says, I listened to my inner voice and thought about, so they need to be listening to what their minds are telling them as they're reading. We call that the inner voice. They need to be asking helpful questions, questions that will guide them in their comprehension. They need to be looking for new information, and they need to be able to tell the information in their own words, not just copy it straight from the book, but to be able to tell you um, and expand upon it and explain what it means. They need to share their reactions with you. How does, how does it make them feel? What does it make them think about? They also need to be listening to their inner voice for their helpful connections, um, making connections to other books that they've read, making connections to other places that they've been, and making connections um, to personal things that have happened to them. That's very important when they read as well. The next check says, I can explain the new information in my own words. That's really our focus right now, explaining what they're learning. If it's a nonfiction book, explaining those facts. If it's fiction, they should be able to explain the characters, the problem, the solution, all of those things in the story. And they should be able to do it in their own words. I do this all the time. You read it, you think about it, and you uh, retell it in your own words, not just copying from the book. And then the last one says, check, I am an awesome reader. So if students can do all of these things, they are awesome readers, and that's our goal. So at home, you can help them by going through step by step each strategy when they're completing their reading logs for their nightly homework, and also when they're just doing any kind of independent reading um, or reading, shared reading with you. All right, thank you so much.